Hi everybody, we're in Vilnius and we're talking about languages. I'm here today with my friend Vaida. She's like a professional athlete. She has more miles on her shoes than on her car. And she holds the like, records in Lithuania, but she's simply the fastest Lithuanian alive. Ciao, Vaida. <laughs> Ciao. Tell us something about you. So, my name is Vaida. I am a professional athlete, also personal trainer, and running is my passion, it's my religion. And your religion brings you everywhere in the world because like I'm trying to meet you for a coffee and you're always like oh no I'm in Latvia, I'm in Finland and next you're gonna be in China. Like so I don't know what to do with you but like I guess you need languages a lot in your work. Yes, uh, I understood that uh, languages is very important when you're uh, going around the world, when you meet uh, people from different countries, uh, languages is really important. And what's your relationship with languages? I mean, it's cool. What was your? Uh, did you did you study them? Like, what what did you do? What's what's your school relationship with language? Uh, I learned uh, uh, English and Russian uh, at school, but uh, from that times so I was very shy to talk uh, uh, in English and Russian because uh, I tried to speak very good, very uh, with all uh, all the rules. So uh, from school I had uh, like a sort of trauma. Yeah, trauma. <laughs> like you were trying to use all the rules, focusing on speaking correct. Yeah. But you, like, and then you you blocked yourself. Yeah. And that's I, I like your story about Russian, the station incident, like with the Russian language. Can, can you tell yeah. us? It was about five years ago when I was alone in Belarus and uh, I can't speak in Russian uh, and I need to go to a bus station and then I understood that I don't know how to say bus station in Russian. I tried to show with my hands in English, in Russian, in different uh, words but they, uh, that people can't understand me so I text my mom uh, how is uh, uh, bus station in Russian and she wrote me that it's Vagzal. And with this one word, uh, I, then I understood that I could do everything, all the door is open and then I... And you didn't need any rule, any you just rules, needed a yeah. word and then from there you could start to yeah. communicate and, and, and express yourself. I think this is, this is very interesting because I also think when you go to school, starting to focus on the rules and rules, but you don't need the rules, you need to find the bus station most of the time and the rules won't really help you to find the bus station and uh, people can help you and you need to talk with them to yeah, find the bus and station. sometimes just one word could change the situation from bad to good. Very good. Yeah. So and now let's go back to a bad situation because now I'm gonna embarrass you. We're gonna see if you really can like jump the steeples. Let's see who can jump that bench over there, okay? Let's get ready. Three, two, one, go.